Hi, my name is Dr. Nadia Chow. I'm a technology analyst with ID TechX. I'm here with Hannah from Selling at their booth uh, to talk about the BioX bioprinter. So, yes. over to you. Yes, so I'm going to show a little bit on how the printer works. Um, and what you start with is that you have a mixture of your cells together with a bio ink or a biomaterial. Um, and then you just place it into the printer, um, attach the air pressure, and then you're done. So um, with the software, you will choose a, a 3D structure that you would like to print. For example, if you want to print a small nose, you can um, have a look at the 3D structure that you want to print and see that you've chosen, chosen the right one. Um, you can rotate it and see, yes, this is the one we want to see for print. Um, then you move forward to the print surface and then you can either choose to print in a regular Petri dish or, for example, a 96 well plate. Uh, in this case, we're going to print with a Petri dish. Um, just this one here. Uh, the next step is to print a uh, printer setup. So here you will choose uh, which print head that you want to be um, enabling. So you have three different print heads and also the print surface or the print bed. Um, for this, we can choose to print only with one print head. Um, we have Selling start is the material that we have in the cartridge, and then it's preset. Uh, so all the setting is in there. Uh, we move on to the layers. You can choose to have a hexagonal or a honeycomb structure, or for example, a regular grid structure. And then you can choose um, which print head you want to print what part of the structure. That is possible to do here as well. Uh, the next step is the overview. And here you can see what kind of settings you've entered and also be able to test the bio or the flow of the bio ink. Uh, so if you're printing with a new material, for example, it's possible to see that you have the right pressure for the print. Next step is the calibration. And that is done automatically in X and Y direction and the set is now um, manually but it will also be automatic um, in the future. So here you can then um, choose to um, set the point zero basically and then you can choose the uh, step size. We have 10 millimeters, one millimeter, and 0.1 millimeter. So then you want to be as close to the surface as you can without touching it. And then you will apply. And then you're ready to bioprint. So the process is very easy. And the idea with the printer is that anybody should be able to use it. If you haven't worked with 3D printing, it should still be a possibility to use the printer. And then when you're printing like this, you can see that it's going a little bit too fast. So then we can go in and also uh, lower the print speed. So if you want to print with a... And then you can also um, adjust the pressure. So if you want to have a little bit higher pressure or a little bit lower pressure, that's definitely possible to do during the printing. The same with the top. Okay. So while that's printing, can you tell us a bit more about selling? Absolutely. Um, we're a quite young company. We started in January 2016 um, and we were listed on NASDAQ 10 months after that. Um, and we started with five people, I think, and now we're around 45. So we're growing a lot and we see a great interest, or like increase in interest in the technology of our um, And we're, we have had 
uh, one headquarters in Sweden, in Gothenburg, and then uh, another one in Boston, US. That's our US headquarters. Um, and we just recently actually opened a small office in Kyoto, in Japan as well. So we're going. Yes. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. Um, so when you want to print a bigger structure like this, uh, you might want to go a little bit higher in this the printing density. Okay. So this one is 25%. For printing a good uh, nose as we're printing here, I would recommend maybe 50% to get like a stable structure. If you're building it up to a bigger structure, you need a little bit more density in the structure. But that's basically how it works. Tell me a bit more about the ink that we're printing with today. Um, so this is just for demonstration um, or as a support material. So if you're printing a very complex structure, you might need some support. Um, mm -hmm. And then you can use the sterile version of this uh, material. Okay. Uh, but we, we have a lot of different materials and it all depends on what kind of cell type you want to print. So if you want to print liver cells, for example, you want a totally different material than if you're printing cartilage, for example. So uh, it all depends on the material or the, the cell type that you want to print and also the structure that you wish to print. But we do have a lot of different uh, materials and we have a big team in Sweden uh, working on developing new materials and, and new bioinks basically. What's it for? What could it be for in the future? Uh, so the applications range, uh, it's so many different applications. Um, we have people printing uh, small cancer tumors for cancer research or um, patient-specific cancer treatments. Uh, we have people wanting to print cartilage for um, in the future, hopefully, to transplant into a human being. Um, skin tissue, it's a huge field for us. It's um, both the cosmetic companies that want to try their products on, on skin tissue. Um, but also in the future to be able to print a skin replacement or for someone who has a severe burn damage, uh, you can take the cells from the patient and print their own cells in a perfect shape that they need or that they want for, for the transplant. Um, so a wide range of applications with a printer and it's growing all the time. Um, new, new applications every week basically. Mm -hmm. Uh, just one final question. Yes. How has the ID Tech X show helped you? Um, well, it's the first time we're here, um, and it's uh, it's a little bit different than the ones that we usually go to. But um, in, it's it's always good to know what's out there, both for us as a technical like questions about the printer, but also to meet new possible uh, customers. You never know where you're going to meet them, and that's been uh, so far so good. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.